These are the same exact glazes. The one on the left is naturally cooled and the one on the right is slow cooled. If you want to learn how to do this with your kiln, keep watching. Okay, so I'm quickly going to show you how to set a slow cooling schedule on your kiln using the ramp hold button. If you've never done this before, your kiln will default to user 1, but I already have a schedule set on user 1, so I'm going to pick user 2. For the first ramp, we are going to ramp up at 100 degrees per hour, and then it's going to ask you the degree, and we're going to go to 212 degrees, which is boiling point. I'm going to hold that for 30 minutes, and this is considered your candling. You can hold for longer if your pieces are more wet, or you don't have to hold at all if your pieces are completely dry. For the second ramp, we are going to ramp up at 350 degrees per hour, and we're going to do that until 2,000 degrees. And I'm choosing no hold on this one, so I hit zero and enter. So for the third ramp, I'm going to do 150 degrees per hour up until that top, cone 5-6 which is 2,200 degrees. I am going to hold this here for 15 minutes. For the fourth ramp I'm going to drop it very quickly at a rate of 500 degrees per hour and let it sit at 2,100 degrees and I will put the hold for another 15 minutes. And now to start the slow cooling for ramp 5 I'm going to slow cool at 125 degrees per hour until 1,400 degrees and I am not going to hold it. So I will hit zero and enter. And for the sixth and final ramp, you want to tell your kiln to shut off. So it is already programmed zero. So you hit enter until you see idle, hit enter again on, and now it is set for a slow cool. I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below and I will answer to the best of my ability. Happy potting.